What's up, basketball lifers? This is Atlas Insider, your look at who makes Atlas work. Check, Check it out! out. My name is Claudia Marchena. I'm the Marketing Operations Specialist for Shingles and Underlayments. And today I'm here with our Pro Course Elite team and we are celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month by talking about all things Hispanic. So first, let me go ahead and introduce our Pro Course team here. First up, we have Al Castaneda. He's the Regional Sales Manager in the Southwest region. Hey Al, how are you? Why don't you tell us about how long you've been with Atlas and what is your descent? I've uh, been with Atlas for 16 years now, and um, I'm uh, originally from Mexico, out uh, of a small town called Torreon. Oh, nice. Great. Good to have you here. <laughs> um, you. Next up, we have Kathy Capellan. She's the Regional Sales Manager for the Northeast Region. Hi, Kathy. Good to see you. Hi, Claude. Thank you. Good to see you, too. How long have you been with Atlas, and what is your descent? I've been with Atlas for seven years, and I'm Dominican. Yay, I'm Dominican too. Sorry, I forgot to introduce myself too. Well, what is my descent? My descent is also Dominican and I've been with Atlas for two years. Um, and then last but not least, we have Eric Cap. Hey, Eric. Hey, how you doing? Good. Why don't you tell us how long you've been with Atlas and what is your descent? Uh, I've been with Atlas for six years and um, I guess I'm Mexican-American. Awesome. Well, um, so Hispanic Heritage Month uh, runs from September 15 to October 15, and we just wanted to get together and chat about our heritage. So um, our first topic here is food. Let's talk about what is your favorite traditional dish or food from like your country. So I'm going to start. My favorite from Dominican dishes is mangu. If you don't know what mangu is, it is mashed proteins, Top with pickled onions and usually it's a side of like um, fried egg, fried cheese, avocado. And let me tell you, Dominicans would have mango breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It doesn't matter. I'm sure Kathy knows about this, right? I'm going to actually have to second that, Claudette. It's <laughs> so my favorite dish. I can have mango for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And I absolutely love it. My daughter loves it. <laughs> it's just our yeah. favorite dish. <laughs> I'm gonna invite you, Al and Eric and Asphalt Lifers, if you haven't had mango, go ahead and go to your the closest Dominican restaurant and order mango and you're gonna tag me later. Okay? Well, I'm gonna have to try that one. <laughs> Great. What how about you, Al? What what's your favorite traditional dish? My favorite thing I think is gonna be guacamole i love it guacamole I, I love it so i think that's my favorite I, after that I would have to buy the cheese enchiladas those two are my favorite uh, mexican food uh go-to mexican food those so, are delicious <laughs> yeah those are my two favorite no, but i can eat guacamole on everything i can eat yeah. that almost every day yeah how about you eric well uh, growing up in san antonio i've got i've got two favorites uh one is carne guisana which is kind of like a stew meat in a, in, in a uh, it's made with a brown gravy or a red gravy. I've seen it made both ways. I like the brown gravy. Uh, and then uh, it's like street food, uh, the Gordon Lee Fest. Uh, oh, I haven't had that. I got oh, those are good. Them. Those are good too. I love them. You can stuff them with, with <clears throat> anything, chicken, guacamole, uh, beef, Anything you want, you can stuff it with it. Lettuce, tomatoes on top, and cheese, and I, I can't stop it. Good. That sounds good. Now, I'm going to say something. You guys are very fortunate Mexicans, because anywhere you go in the world, you will find Mexican food. It may not be authentic, yeah. but you will find Mexican food, mm -hmm. food almost anywhere you go, which is amazing. Yep, that's true. <laughs> 
Yeah. You know, street tacos are really good. I mean, it, it's just, it's little plain street tacos are always really good to me. I love street tacos. Yeah. Street yeah. chicken tacos. Yeah. yeah, with just onions and cilantro, I'm good with that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yes. And that green sauce, the avocado green sauce. Oh, yeah. So good. We're going to have to go eat after this. Yeah. <laughs> You're just making me well, hungry. Too. lunch by me, so. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, what about music? Like, what is your favorite, like, Spanish music? For me, it would have to be bachata. Like, our Dominicans are big on merengue, bachata. That's, like, mostly what we listen to. But for me, bachata, like, I can go anywhere and, like, listen to it. I'm like, yes, let me go dance. <laughs> what about you guys? I'm gonna start with you, Eric. What's your favorite, like, Spanish music? Uh, probably be the cumbias, just the... Uh to get out there and start dancing. Yeah, uh, that's a good rhythm. <laughs> yep, what about you, Kathy? You're gonna have to let me go first, Claude, because I'm just <laughs> piggybacking off of you. I love bachata, I love Romeo Santos, and yes! I do like uh, merengue, though, as well. That um, tipico is really good, too, so. We're gonna have to share some links for you Asphalt Lifers. We're gonna put it in the resources up on um, the bottom of this video. We'll have links for you to listen to some of this music so you can kind of learn and see what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Al? Do you have well, any Well, you know, this is this is sad for me, but I'm such a, I, I didn't grow up listening to a lot of Mexican music, I'll be honest, so I've yeah. never been one to listen to it. But you're right, I mean, if you put those links in there, it'd be good to listen to some of the stuff, because I never, I'm such a, a pop fan and, and rock and all that. I grew up with that yeah. kind of music, so yeah, that's yeah. more what I'm going into. So, but I, 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 you know, once in a while you hear some, you know, I'll tell you, I'm more the old school kind of stuff. Once in a while I hear something from Julio Iglesias, it's an Hi. old music that I do enjoy listening to once in a while. Yeah, yeah me great. too. My, I, I listen to that type of music too, where Julio Iglesias, Enrique Iglesias, and like... Juanes. Luis Miguel, like the <laughs> old romantic and baladas. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Those are really good. Yep. <laughs> well, the last topic um, that I want to discuss with all of you today or chat about um, is family traditions. What are some of your traditions that you observed growing up? Like we all have ways to do things and I know for Hispanics, like families, everything. Like what are some of your traditions that you grew up with because of how you were raised? Let me start with Kathy since she called okay. me. Okay, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're gonna say the same thing, but um, growing up, I always asked like for my, my elders for their blessings. So I would say, I would I say bendiciones or bendicion mami. So I I love um, still doing that, and I wish to like teach my daughter the same thing. Yes, that's something that we also. I don't know. Have, do does the Mexican culture also does that too? Like bendicion abuela, bendicion mami is like kind of like greeting or. Yeah, we do. You know, the biggest thing for us when uh, you know I kind of remember growing up is. We got together a lot on Saturday, Sunday, depending on what. Usually it was Sunday after church or something. We would all get together. And, uh, you know, it's harder now that everybody gets older and everybody gets split up and uh, everybody goes to different ways. But we still get together quite a bit. I think that's a great thing. We, I mean, Thanksgiving, Christmas, it's everybody. You have 30 people at your yeah. house. That's that's a big tradition for us. Uh, and, um, and we love it. Uh, there's a lot of people, a lot of kids, everything like that. So we still do it. And... Um, the bigger the families get, the, the more it is. So we, we really enjoy getting together like that. Yeah. How about you, Eric? Do you have anything? Yeah, yeah I would have to say the same thing. I mean, grow, growing up, every Sunday afternoon, we were cooking out. You know, we had fajitas on the grill, tablitas on the grill, chicken. And it was every Sunday. Uh, again, growing up in San Antonio, it didn't get cold, too cold there. So we, we were, even in the wintertime, we were grilling. Uh, and, and we still do it now. Yeah, every Sunday we're at we're at my, my parents' house, we're at my house, and, and we're grilling out. And sisters, nieces, nephews, everybody's coming over. That's awesome. Yeah, I think um, just in general, it doesn't matter like what country you're from. Um, you can see that tradition of family and the way we buy the family is such a big thing for Hispanics. Um, for me, growing up, I actually grew up in the Dominican Republic, so I grew up in an island. 
So every um, spring break, we will go camping at the beach with my whole family. I'm not talking about just my mom, my dad, and like my brothers. We would have like all my tias, tios, like my cousins. I'm talking about 30 people camping at the beach. And we will have bonfires at night. We'll cook at the beach. So it's such a great uh, memory that I have that I wish I could go back and experience again. But um, anyway, those are the topics that we had to discuss today. And um, ask the light first. Put in the chat, how are you celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month? If you know any Hispanic people in your community, give them a shout out in the comments below and reach out to them to ask them what are some of their favorite things. Also, I wanted to let you know that Atlas is investing in the Hispanic community. We have a ton of resources available in Spanish just for you. All you have to do is go to atlasroofing.com or slash Atlas para Latinos. Or you can also speak with your sales rep to start receiving Spanish communications from Atlas. Thank you all for watching and Feliz Mes de la Hispanidad.